Mr. Tom Pritchard about an, an incident that he is uh, all too familiar with, obviously, the situation that occurred or erupted between him and the dirty white boy. Uh, but, Tom, the thing that has me concerned, and a lot of people have asked me about it, uh, uh, and I, I don't want to bring up bad memories, but what sort of thoughts were running through your mind when all of this was going on? Well, Gordon, like I told you last week, I've had a lot of things happen to me in wrestling. I've, I've suffered three concussions. I, I even wrestled one time for a week on a broken ankle, and, and a lot of things went through my mind at that time. But when I was stringed up, strung up on that turnbuckle, and my feet came off the ground, and I started thinking to myself, my God, I can't breathe. I have no hair coming back in my passages here. And I, my life flashed before me. I thought of all the things I had done in wrestling. I thought of all the accomplishments I had in my life. And I wondered, I thought, if anybody was going to have any mercy or at least come down and save me from what was happening to me at that time. Because when I was hanging up there, I kept wondering how in the world could I get suckered in to having a rope around my neck and my hands bound behind my back. And when I saw that little girl's face with a black eye, when I came out here to the set and I thought, Charlie Platt came back and told me, you came back and told me, you said the dirty white boy slapped her around because I cut his hair. And I came out to the set and I saw her face and I felt a little compassion. I felt maybe a little sorry for it because I don't think anybody has the right, especially a 235-pound man, to slap a 100-pound woman. But I tell you what, my feelings have definitely changed. My feelings have definitely changed. And you're right, I'd slap her too now because I was standing up. I was strung up on that ring right there, man, and a lot of things did flash through my mind, like my entire life. Well, I can understand that, and obviously uh, the situation between you and the dirty white boy is not yet resolved. No, it's not yet resolved, and the situation between me and little Mystic is not resolved either. A lot of things have been done, and a lot of things are going to be done. I promise you, white boy, if you want to come on, meet me. You and me head on. Don't bring any little girl and put her in front and say, here it is, so I can turn my back. Because I'm a little too smart for that now. I'm not turning my back for you now, pal. I got one eye on you, and I got one eye on that little tramp you got hanging around ringside, pal. Okay, fair enough. Thank you so very much.